I have no idea why that decided to do that. Let me see. Is it going to stop? Come on. You can stop. No, stop with the noise. I have no uh -oh, idea. Uh-oh, I can hear my... Oh, you know what? I have my own that. audio on. That's why. There we go. What is up? Oh, my God, you guys. There's no stopping it! There we go. That's better. Things are happening. Holy moly. What's up? Um... Hi. Hi, everybody. Uh, ooh, yeah. Can you dig it? I am the master of technical difficulties. Yes, uh, I have no idea why uh, the intro decided to not work, and then it did work, and then it didn't work. Um, so I had that whole little thing. I slapped together all of this today. I was planning on um, streaming on here for quite a while and uh i hope you all can hear me well i'm guessing you all can because you're all saying hi so um and you're all watching my my handiwork good job hippie i'm not a hippie get a job hippie <laughs> so um so anyway um i wanted to uh tonight I'm not going to... Oh, my God! Holy crap! Uh, all right, why is the super... Now the super chat's not working. Um, let me... See, I'm... Uh, for, oh, God, I got a couple of... Uh, I missed... I, I am... Let me bring up my events here. Uh, I got, uh, Discordian, uh, I was looking for something to watch, thanks, thank you so much for the super chat, Sean Thompson with the, uh, $1.99 super chat, and then there was just a $10 super chat, but it, I don't know why it didn't go off, uh, <laughs> this, this is all, this is all confusing, where am I, what am I doing here, I have no idea, so thank you, uh, BLVP 2145. Uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Into eternity. There it goes. I have some of these set up. Oh my god. Greetings from Buenos Aires. Wow, I, I'm from Buenos Aires and I said kill them all! So glad I caught this. Been watching and rewatching your videos for years. Thank you so much, man. Thank you all of you for for being here. I I really appreciate this. Uh, what I was going to say was <laughs> keep your expectations in check here uh, tonight. I am just trying. Tonight is just technical stuff. I'm seeing what works. I'm seeing what doesn't work. Uh, I'm seeing. Uh, I'm, I'm making sure that things work, uh, because I would like to stream on here a little bit more often. So, me and Brand is, is Brandon here? Brandon's a good egg. This sucks, I want a refund. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, all of you. Uh, thank you so very much. Australia checking in! And Canada, and oh my god, how quickly can he get banned? I look, I am I am keeping um I'm keeping my potty mouth in check. Uh I have very, very, very not bad uh super chat alerts. <laughs> so yeah, things are just kind of going along. Uh I see you're on YouTube, so no hot tub stream. No, no hot tub stream. Believe me, that no one wants that. My computer might be overheating. You should put some water on it. When is Capital O Opinions releasing Devs Episode 4? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> Florida! We got Florida. We got North Carolina. Come on and raise up! I, I would take my shirt off and swing it around my head like a helicopter, but... 
Uh, don't take this the wrong way, but I think of you as a bra, but not really. Wait. Ah. Uh, I think of you as a bra, not really tuber or streamer. Um, I, I think you mean that in a good way. Oh, Cleveland. At least you're not Detroit. We're not Detroit. Let's watch Aliens from L.A. Salem, Massachusetts. My sister goes there every year. Greetings from Pittsburgh. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm a few hours from Pittsburgh, but. All right, let's see. I, I saw a uh, cool paranormal activity franchise review. Thank you so much, Rob. I appreciate that. Uh, we had a lot of fun with that. I think we recorded for like. There's no stopping it. Ah! There it goes with the Donald's egg. Wow, there is a, there was a delay on those. Thank you so much, uh, Donalds, for the uh, for the the super chat, and then thank you so much. Uh, oh my God, this is crazy, Rob, uh, for the for the super chat. I really appreciate that. Yeah, um, the the franchise review we had so much fun. I think we recorded for like two and a half hours, and then it, like because we just went on and on and on. Uh, it was so much fun. Uh, Tony's a good guy. Uh, I wish he lived a little bit closer. Because it's like an hour uh, in crappy traffic, but. There's no stopping it! <laughs> <laughs> Cannon Raw with the $8 Technical Octopus approves of Cecil's first stream. Thank you. That that means a lot. I Believe me, I have been, I have been sweating all day long. Like, just. Oh, fuck. Uh, I meant to. I got to put an alert. I got to put an alert up. That, that I'm doing, you know, I haven't even let Twitter know yet. Um, the, the, um, I got so ahead of myself. Uh, let's see. All right. And here, where's the link? I am like, <laughs> please. I, I appreciate you guys bearing with me because, man, this is so, like, I mean, I've I've done Twitch streams for a long time, but this is different. This is, uh, this is a lot. It's a, it's a different environment. Um, uh, definitely a lot more people. And, all right, let me just, I got to post uh, to, to Twitch uh, live now. And then I also got to. Let me let the Discord know, although they're probably here. This is... This is... There's no stopping it! Ah! I, I love... If you guys... You guys probably... The majority of you probably were not here for that. Uh, actually, I should say not even probably. Uh, every... the That was from... That was Red Brown on uh, uh, Knights of... Uh, it might of nights of magic and mystery and all that shit it was a hoot. So there is no stopping them. Uh, all right. So I got some alerts out. So we might get a few more people here. Holy moly. Um, how's the audio too? By the way, I hope the audio is good. I do have a Discord. There's no stopping it. Uh, uh, oh my goodness. Um. There's no stopping it! <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly. Um, let's... There's no stopping it! <laughs> Sean, uh, Sean, Cecil, please review once claws. Um, with, with San Santa Claus? That one? Uh, you may have covered this in your Five Forgotten. Do you remember the cartoon show Brave Star? Uh, had them growing up and everyone else did. Uh, I have not. Uh, depressed Canadian. Are you depressed because everybody uh, does not remember Brave Star? I have Brave Star uh, on another list for the future with um, uh, the the Five Forgotten series. Whenever I get back to cartoons. Uh, but yeah, totally that's going to happen. Uh, so yeah, sometime soon-ish. Uh, and the one called Rob just wanted to stop by. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Uh, man, I am, uh, 
got more and more super chats. This is great, dudes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, all right, here we go. Uh, absolutely love your exploring series. Have you ever reviewed any of the Tron movies? There's no stopping it. Ah! Oh, right, right when yours, right when yours came up. Uh, no. Uh, I I started working on the first Tron, um, and I was gonna kind of have it lead into the second one. Um, now with the new Tron coming out, the new Tron, uh, I'm kind of delaying that. Uh, so I don't know uh when it probably expect an exploring tron video um sometime around when the new tron is coming out so you sound real good thank you that's good i'm glad because uh i i am very 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 nitpicky about my audio and i'm glad Man, what? No stopping it. Ah! all right i'll get it up a little bit there we go a little hotter. Ah. No stopping it. Ah. <laughs> All right, I got my. Oh. There's no stopping it. Ah. Holy moly, you guys! How's that? I, it's a little bit louder. I bumped it up about ten percent. Crystal clear audio, coming at you live from God. If I, I'm, if if I could, if I could think on the fly, I would come up with, uh, you know. And smooth sailing all night long on the night flight. What did you think of Dune? There's no stopping it! Ah! Oh my god, what did you think of Dune Part 2? I haven't seen Dune Part... I haven't seen all of Dune Part 1. There's no stopping it! Ah! Holy moly, guys. I love this. Uh, glad to catch us been watching since... There's no stopping it! Ah! <laughs> Glad to catch us been watching since the what the fuck happened to PG. Forever into eternity. Uh, will you continue that series? Take care and Godspeed. Uh, Cal G. There's no stopping it. Ah! Uh, I, uh, I, I never really stopped the PG, the, the, the PG-13. I never really stopped the, the WTF videos. It's just that they, like, they they are, take a really long time. They take even longer than the the good bad flicks videos. I have two um, currently in the works. Um, I have one where I am uh, consulting with um, professionals in a very specific industry, not the porn industry, in the multi billion dollar movie industry. But I am consulting with some of them, and as you can imagine, that is taking a while. Um, and then I have another one. That is about eh, something that's kind of going on in the industry today. That one will probably be out sooner. Uh, the other one that I was talking about where I'm dealing with the uh, with people in the industry, uh, that one is probably going to end up being like a, um, uh, a, a multi-part one. Uh, because simply there's just so much content. Like there's so much to cover. So... Uh, so yes, so so expect uh, if if all goes well, fingers crossed, uh, two WTF videos this year. Um, that would be very nice. I I would hope for that. Um, I have some major exploring videos that I really want done. I have one that is probably going to end up being feature length uh, at the rate that it's going, and uh, they just I mean they just keep taking longer and longer. And the neat thing now versus the old days. Um, Forever into eternity. I used to, uh, I used to have a really hard time getting a hold of. There's it's no it. stopping it. Ah! <laughs> I used to have a really hard time getting a hold of industry You're people. The killers. Oh it's shit! Society. That's who's guilty, man. We're just your lousy scapegoat. Oh my god! Oh, it cuts off a little bit there with the lousy scapegoat. Oh, holy crap. All right, let me let me kind of get through the, uh, the 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 super chats here. Hi from Des Moines, Des Moines Iowa. We're corn, not potatoes. Uh, not maize either. Um, the ah There's no stopping it. Ah! Uh, hold on. Let's see. Do, 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 do.
Message retracted. Um, well, I'm sorry, Chris. Whatever happened. Joey, uh, Joey R75. We're so old. Mad Bull. Uh, Christian G, just saying hi from the keg days. Oh my God. Cheap ass game. Oh, holy moly. That goes, that is somebody from the way back there, dude. Holy moly. No stopping it. Ah! Ooh, I'm just seeing audio is great. Your dulcet tones are as silky as ever. Oh. There's no stopping it. Ah! Oh my god, that is crazy. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, CAG is Cheap Ass Gamer was a game as a website that's still around. They're great. There you go there, they tell you where all the best video game deals are. And way back when I was really first starting this, back in like 2010, um, I was trying to get subscribers on YouTube. So I put, um, you know, I joined the forums and I was chatty there to begin with, but then, um, I had put up like a $20 gift card or something for, you know, everybody, you know, subscribes and I'll pick and, you know, pick one of them. And so it was fairly, it was fairly common back at the time. And that was also, I mean, YouTube was still relatively new. Um, I was, and I was um, kind of going back and forth between Blip and YouTube. I was, uh, Blip allowed you to monetize right away, whereas YouTube didn't. Um, and I made... I I made uh it took me uh, 3 years and I made $25. <laughs> Super chat audio is way too loud and obnoxious. Um okay. I don't know how, let me see if I can uh, Yeah, I should be able to drop that. So yeah, like I said, tonight is going to be a learning experience. Um while I get all of this situated and good. All right. Uh, super chats. And let me drop. All right. I'm going to drop it. It's already at 70%. I'll drop it to 50. Because that is that is loud and obnoxious. All right. Um, and variations. Let me just make sure that that's there. Edit. Make sure that's still on there. Oh, it's, it's 80 here. All right. Let me. All right. There we go. Save. Okay, um, that's dropped. Should be a lot. Should be a little bit better. Uh, let me see what else did I make. Uh, enjoyed your exploring Stan Winston's creature features. Looking forward to a new exploring. Thank you so much, man. Um, I'm sad that the Stan Winston creature features video didn't do particularly well. It did okay, but I mean the the. I mean, I'm always glad when a video does well, but it kind of was. I'm sad because the Amazon video did did well. And the Creature Features video didn't do so well. The Creature Features video took me about two months to do. And the uh, Amazon's video took me about a week. So it's, it's kind of a bummer. Uh, oh, wow. That, um, that Bagool, that's some, somebody just went to Twitch. <laughs> that's funny. I didn't know I had, uh, I didn't know I had that up over here. Greetings from Harlem, New York. Love your videos, some of which Cannibal Run, He-Man, Mortal Kombat. You've watched many times. Your TV shows rule. Thank you, Dad1153. I appreciate that. Um, yes, people read good, bad fucks uh, all the time. Um, yeah. Elephant Graveyard from Twitch. How are you? Good to see you here. I hope you're having a lovely night. I have something really fun in store for Friday. Forever into eternity. Oh my god, let me get caught up here. Uh pick a movie for me tonight. Worse the better. Um uh, How about I mean if you if you want bad but fun, uh I will say roller gator. Um if you want bad but bad uh, I will say cocaine shark. Not not cocaine bear, cocaine shark. RH710, what up, RH? Good to see you over here too, man. Um when are the game reviews coming? Eh, 
If, if... There's no stopping it! If, if Twitch... Or I'm sorry, if Twitch... Mm. It didn't sound much quieter. I don't know if that... I, I, I lowered the volume. I don't know why. Um... When are the game reviews coming? Uh, if if YouTube wasn't annoying, like I probably would be able to do. See, the thing is, YouTube it, they make it really difficult to kind of um, branch out, um, and for like, I am labeled as. I'll make this as brief as possible. I am labeled as a like movie TV review channel. And when I do gaming content, the algorithm automatically assumes that my audience is not interested in that. So consequently, they don't send it out to my subscribers and they don't uh, put it into the system. So consequently, uh, the videos that I do that are uh, video game related, they do horribly because... uh, because of that i'm still on my top 10 films from 2019 yeah i'm I'm a little behind on that i shall surpass mr beast mr beast good god that would be nice i would i would love to do that um into eternity coyote in the house with the first ever youtube live stream thank you for making your way over here dude i appreciate it i appreciate the 20 bucks man that's freaking huge Um, it's, it's going well. I am, I am, I am overwhelmed with, with, uh, with joy here. I am, I'm really having fun. Uh, I love talking and I love like, just, it's, it's fun. It's exhilarating. I guess you could say. Dune has Zendaya. You know what? I remember Zendaya from Shake It Up. Um, and I, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't dislike her. I just don't. Get like she was kind of like Julia Armand, where it was this actress who came along and everybody was like, you know, this is you will like this actress. She is, and I'm like, eh. So I don't think that she's bad. I just don't understand. I don't get what the the fuss is. So, um, I think that there are other uh, other actresses out there that are better. Thanks for the uh, here for blood recommendation. Oh, fantastic! Thank you so much, man. I'm glad you liked it. That is a really really fun movie. Um. I more than likely, um, not this year. I think I might give it a little time to, to, to cook, but, um, I would like to do a here for blood, uh, exploring sometime down the road. In humanoids was the eighties, most violent animated show. And exo squad was the nineties, most violent animated show. Both had tons of death scenes in humanoids is body horror, uh, for kids. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> This is this uh, this. <laughs> Thank you, man. Oh, I love Grandma's boy. Uh, me and your family have enjoyed your channel immensely over the years. Thank you for all the hard work you put in your content. Thank you so much, uh, Jockney J. I I work really hard, and it means so much when it is appreciated. It really does. Um. Uh, There's no stopping it. Ah! Uh, oh my God! <laughs> There's no stopping it. Ah! Here we go. Okay, I'm getting a little bit caught up. Um, two twenty in the UK, but couldn't miss this historic first stream. Look good, bad flicks. Stream of the day. We get that Maniac Cop three video. Uh, cab thirteen forty. Uh, so do I, man. Uh, Bill. Uh, Bill was, was more than happy to talk about the first two, but it is pulling teeth trying to get him to talk about the third one. And, uh, I might just have to go off of his, uh, commentary, uh, to do, uh, the Maniac Cop. Because he did the commentary for the Blue Underground release, um, under his, uh, pseudonym, because that movie... There's no stopping it! Ah! Maniac Cop 3 really derailed his career. Cecil read mine out loud. Screaming like Teeny Bopper at Beatles concert. <laughs> Brandon is here. There he is. Ah, uh, Blip. That's a name you haven't thought of in a long time. Yeah, that's a name that uh, they... Um, Disney took them out in the back 
and shot them like old Yeller. <laughs> I remember way back when Disney bought um what uh, what was it? Uh Pol- was it Polaris that bought Blip? Or no, no, no yeah. It. Uh, I think uh, you were today years old when you watched Cherry 2000. Cherry 2000 is a good one. Um, Super chat should be like Poochie, louder, angrier, and have access to a time machine. Um, I think it was, I think, I think it was, or no, it was Maker. It was Maker. Maker bought Blip uh, for whatever reason, and then Disney bought Maker, and they absorbed uh blip in it and i remember when that was going on where uh all these people were like oh my god i i can't wait for you know uh uh you know doug the nostalgia critic is going to be in the mcu and this is not a slight against doug i have no issues with doug but it was just funny that there were people that were looking at that they weren't seeing the bigger picture that disney was buying maker they didn't know what the fuck blip was they're like what what's this and because i knew as as brandon would would tell you anybody that was working was putting out videos on blip the writing was on the wall like the the site hadn't been updated in forever there was no uh like if you were to email there was no contact it just was uploading and you may or may not get paid um so i knew that blip's days were numbered and uh and it was like once all their contracts were done uh they shut that shit down and there were a lot of people that uh, were not prepared uh thank you for doing exploring the black hole thank you so much blvp um that took a long time to do and i worked my butt off on that and i'm glad it really went over well the power of horny does compel the audience um, I've been watching since 2016. You're consistently one of my favorite YouTube channels. Thanks for all you do. Thank you so much, Spencer Porkinson. Thank you so much for the super chat, dude. I And thank you so much for the kind words. Thank you all so much for the kind words and just everything. Just thank you for being here. Um, it, it genuinely means a lot. Um, uh, what's my favorite era of B-movies? Absolutely, uh, the 80s. Um, there's a lot of good stuff in the seventies too. Uh, seventies is more exploitation. Um, but, but eighties and nineties for, for B movies. I think I found your channel because of your Silent Hill video. That was, um, that was a great one too. I really love doing that one. Um, so much so I might be updating it. Hint, hint. (laughs) Got another favorite YouTube in here, Brandon, uh, Horror geek around as well. Look at that. Oh, God. I haven't talked to him in in the longest time. Uh, Have ever watched... Oh, I love Iron Sky. Iron Sky is awesome. Um, Striving Balance. Love your channel. Thank you so much. Uh, Bad movie. Uh, Burial Ground. That is a good one. It feels weird seeing you live. I know. It's it's weird. I'm like... I I, I was trying to do stuff to, to, to make it different than Twitch. Um, cause it is a different ecosystem and stuff, but, uh, but it's fun. I have Emporium for YouTube super chats. It's called Ted's YouTube super chats Emporium for every nine ninety nine chat. I charge you $10. Yes, Gregory. I I'm going to, with, with the, the footage playing on the TV, no stopping it. <laughs> with the footage playing on the TV, I'm totally putting, uh, Ted's, uh, ghost hunting products Emporium in there. <laughs> Julia Armand was great and Sabrina. Uh yeah, she uh she kind of they they had her everywhere and then she just kind of went away. Um Ooh, here we go. Love love the the fucking uh the the Ted little Jimmy Norton reference, Joey. I have do I have a No, I don't have Oh, in in honor of um, in honor of um, in honor of plumbers don't wear ties, getting its digital release today. Take your damn clothes off. Yes. 
I'm so excited. Well, Zendaya was better than Bella Thorne. Bella Thorne lost a goddamn mind. Um, been watching your videos for about three years now. It's great that you're live streaming. Greetings from Southern Germany. Thank you so much, Bastiel. Really appreciate it. I, I would like to visit Germany one day. Uh, am I planning on exploring TV series? Uh, ooh, another uh, somebody, somebody I think is looking in the things and following me on Twitch. Yay. Um, TV is a little bit more complicated. Um, uh, I'm not saying it's outside the realm of possibility, but um, uh, usually TV shows have multiple directors, and so you're going to get more stories. And it's it's a little bit more complicated than just uh, doing a movie where it's kind of you have your 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 core group that makes it over the course of however long. Um, I'd like to because I'm sure there's some really good. I'm sure Werewolf has a phenomenal story, but um, not uh, not that uh, I I don't know if I'd be able to get all of that. So, uh, oh, warning signs. Into eternity. Fire dog found his way over here, dude. Thank you, man. Uh, uh, don't get all the love for Sydney Sweeney is about checks the internet. Milky, well, yeah, I, I, that's the thing. I showed my wife, and she's just like, I don't get like, I'm like, look, she is, she's pretty. I'm not gonna not say that she's not, but it is funny. Like, uh, I, she, I think it's just nice that it's like, oh, just a, a really just pretty girl you know that okay cool you know like it's not a uh, goofy weird lady gaga kind of thing i like and look i liked lady gaga's first album Forever but into eternity <laughs> let me get md chaos been a follower for 10 plus years now thanks for introducing robot jocks Bagool. and the wonderful ice cream suit crash and burn uh robot jocks is awesome uh wonderful ice cream suit i am devastated um, I was going to talk to Stuart about that, and he sadly passed away, uh, after we did, um, In Search of Darkness, I think we got him for two, and I was gonna interview him, and he just, I, he, I, you know, it, so it's, it's like, I would, I might be able to talk to some producers about that, but it really depends, unless the producers were really working closely with the director, uh, the, the story outcomes usually aren't as good. So, uh, oh, I heard about the Nick Swartzen thing. Yeah. Uh, Disney, very brief. Disney owned Twit blip for like six months. Um, greetings from Brazil. Your videos bring me a lot of memories from the video store era. Oh, thank you, Everton. Uh, have you heard or seen a Scooby-Doo mystery incorporated? I have heard, but I have not seen. Uh, I know the original series quite well. But uh, will I redo the older Good Bad Flicks episodes? Yes. Um, I've redone quite a few of them. Uh, I redid uh, Revenge of the Ninja, My Boyfriend's Back. Um, uh, what are some other ones? I haven't... Ever into eternity. I haven't done Society yet. Uh, I did... There's no stopping it! <laughs> I did don't open till Christmas. Uh, I am talking to uh, this. This year is the 40th anniversary of uh, Breaking Two Electric Boogaloo, and I'm going to have a chat with uh, Mr. Furstenberg uh, about that one. So look for that later in the year. Um, let's see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, I'm. Wow, you guys. Dude, I am feeling the love. This is awesome. There's no stopping it! Ah! Uh, looks like your first YouTube videos. Oh, yes, Fire Dog. Thank you, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm sure I, 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 I just, I can't see who said it, but somebody is like, face reveal. Uh, go, go watch Tony's, uh, Hank the Videos. Um, I, I just was on there. Uh, or, or... I mean, I was on In Search of Darkness 1, 2, and 3. I was on in... I, I'm pretty sure I was in In Search of Tomorrow. Uh, I I was uh, I was on two episodes of Hack the Movies. If you want to see what I look like, there, there's plenty of videos out there of what I look like. 
I love your stuff. Finally committing to supporting your channel. Have you seen the unnameable Joe White? Thank you so much. Um, yes, I have seen the unnameable. Um, it is, uh, is a very cool movie. Um, I'm going to, uh, be doing a video on that eh, at some point, but yeah, that was a kind of a neat, uh, Lovecraftian film, like back way back before, uh, I mean, not people knew Lovecraft, obviously, but it wasn't particularly as mainstream as it is now. So, uh, but the unnameable was a neat movie. I'd like to do that. Just followed you on Twitch. Uh, didn't hear you were on it. NP, yeah, um, I'm on Twitch uh, Friday nights and Sunday days. So, can we pour out a Molson or a Labatt's for Brandon? Yeah, uh, pour some... Oh, God. Forever into eternity. We had a lot of fun when Brandon came out for the, uh, the horror con uh, a couple years ago. That was a good day. He unfortunately had not a good time because he he had to travel all the freaking way. It was to get to where we were. It was not a fun time for him. Raven House, thanks for all the great work you do. Been a fan since 2010. Really appreciate the exploring on Final Exam. That film is a guilty pleasure for you. Uh, yeah, that one. Uh, I'm I'm glad that one like went over well. That one did particularly well when it came out, uh, which is always a surprise to me when I uh, like I'll do. Something mainstream like Final Destination. Forever into eternity. And it'll do like so so. And then I do uh, Final Exam You're and it killer. does well. Oh You're shit! Sick society. That's who's guilty, man. We're just your lousy escape. <laughs> I love that. We're just your lousy escape goat. Glad to see you streaming has migrated over to YouTube. Christian Bates, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Uh, happy you mentioned, you remembered, uh, CAG, uh, I said you reminded me of RLM and you were stoked back then. Uh, did Cheapy ever watch it? I don't think so. I don't think Cheapy ever did. Um, I know that there were a lot of people on there that did, but I don't think Cheapy did. Cheapy had other things to, he was in the process of moving to Japan at the time. Um, yeah, I was, uh, I was hope, like, that was back when we were all kind of relatively small. Uh, uh, here's a... Here's a fun story for you. Uh, I'll give you a little good, bad flicks history for, for all you wonderful people that are here tonight. Um, when I was getting ready to start uh, my videos, uh, right when I was getting, I hadn't released my first video yet. And uh, that was right when um, Red Letter Media released uh, the Star Wars videos. You know, the, what's wrong with your face? And I watched that video and I was like, I can't, I can't compete with that. Like, how, the, how am I going to, how am I going to do, I can't do that. Like, like that, they had, uh, they had, uh, you know, lots of people and writers and, and, uh, and it was just a whole, like it was, it was something special. And I was just like, I can't do that. And so thankfully, I was like, well, you know what? It's good that I can't do that because that's not what I'm doing. Um, I'm doing something else. And thankfully, I, I forged ahead and I managed to kind of carve my own niche. Now, granted, I don't have a million subscribers like they do, and, and but I have... There's no stopping it! <laughs> I have a nice, a nice group, and, a, and and you guys are awesome. And there's no stopping it. <laughs> and I am feeling the love, so thank you. Uh, there's no stopping oh my, it. Oh my, oh my, oh my, my. Uh, oh, I. Forever <laughs> into eternity. <laughs> uh, wow. Uh, it it jumped ahead here. Uh, okay, let me, let me get, uh, your inaugural stream, wish you all the best, thank you, William Phillips, uh, Beastmaster Deep Dive, when, er, wait, hold on, uh, Beastmaster, when was that, uh, 1982, fuck, I missed the, uh, anniversary, uh, maybe next year, um, I'd love to talk about Beastmaster, uh, but, but I'm, I'm, I think I have this year pretty much booked, um, uh, been a reviewer on YouTube 
for more than a decade. Do you have any advice on how I can manage to attract a bigger audience? How do you manage to make an impact? Oh, Jack, how you doing, man? Oh, God, uh, d luck. Um, it's it really like it. It, it never show your face. <laughs> I don't even have a camera. I can't. If I wanted to, I'd show you. No stopping it. Ah! Um, it's it's just it it's just There's no stopping persistence. It. Ah! Be consistent. Um, uh, There's no stopping it. Ah! I really I wish I could be be more of an advice giver, but I mean it is it is a doggy dog uh, world anymore on here um have any actors directors agreed to be interviewed by you for free uh is imdb worth contact people for interviews love your show is wizard of speed and time and sisters of death on the list uh hi ice um there's no stopping it ah! i have not paid uh, a single person uh for an interview uh, usually the people that I, I've gotten a mixture, I've gotten, some of them have contacted me, uh, some of them I have contacted and they have never asked for any kind of payment. They took it as, uh, free publicity essentially, uh, that I, cause basically, uh, they, they talk to me for like an hour or two. Um, and then I go, you know, a little back and forth banter on email and stuff and uh and then i do a fucking documentary for them so consequently um no uh i i have never uh i've never paid for an interview um and yes wizard of speed and time uh is in the mix um i am friends with john masari who is the uh composer who did killer clowns he worked on uh he was an actor in wizard of speed and time but he also did some of the music um, I've been meaning to do Wizard at Speed and Time for the longest time. Um, so it, it was soon, hopefully. Um, Hack the planet! Greetings from New Zealand. And I have to ask, is Cop Rock still a candidate for forgotten TV shows? It might be too well known. Uh, Hap Henry, thank you so much, man. Um, I think I, I think Cop Rock I would do simply because it would be fun. Um, I think it's notorious. And there's no stopping it! Ah! And people know about it, but it would still be fun to talk about. So, yeah, uh, Cop Rock will probably be in one of them. Uh, the con was fun. It was just the flights that were a bitch. Oh, yeah. No, Brandon, I, I know. I'm just saying, like, that was just ruthless. I felt so, like, you were just so tired. Um, it was a shame because uh, it was a good time. Um, uh, Unnameable 2 with Maria Ford. <laughs> Maria Ford. Uh, how about the new Blade? It's going to stink. Uh, oh, Murder in Small Town X. I loved Murder in Small Town X. That was one of the, that was like a uh, murder mystery, full um, found footage kind of TV show. That one, I have a um, found footage TV show, uh, five forgotten videos sometime down the road. Matthew Pickard, uh, hey Cecil, long time fan, first time super chatter. My personal favorite review of yours is Cheerleader Massacre, which is tied with the Cinema Stomps review of Taming of Rebecca. Stay cool, have fun. Thank you. That's some high praise, man. Brad was uh, Brad was one of the guys that uh, I remember watching when I was getting started. Uh, so yeah, Brad's a is a good dude too. I, I've chatted with him a little bit, and he just had a baby not too long ago. So you know. I'm I'm happy for him. I'm happy he's still uh, still kicking. What's the deal with your space truckers video? Is there something to do with copyright issue? Yes. Um, it got taken down by like four companies, and it was just I got tired of fighting it. So uh, I'm just gonna give it a complete overhaul because I think it could do. I think I could do better. Um. Uh, Markran Shran, thank you all for all your videos. You appreciate them. Thank you for the super chat, and I appreciate you. I appreciate all of you that that take the time out to watch this stuff. Um, <laughs> she's trying to push you in a codeine overdose, Sam. <laughs> uh, is your Canon film loving brother from? Oh, it's your Canon film loving brother. No stopping it. Ah! 
you can to film Loving Brother from another. Minute. Let's get some Charles Bronson film reviews. God bless. Helicopter kicks absolutely. Um, I I am I have a lot of Bronson waiting in the wings like Kinjite, um, Ten to Midnight, but uh, I am going if I'm going to do Bronson, I got to start with Death Wish. So I got exploring Death Wish. Uh, fingers crossed this year. Um, and then after that, then I got a whole bunch of, uh, of, of Bronson, a whole bunch of Bronson. Uh, any plans to return to PK? I loved your episode. Um, uh, I had somebody ask me that relatively recently as well. Um, I would absolutely go on PKA again. I had a really good time. Apparently, although I don't think they liked me. And I don't think that the audience liked me. So, uh, and by, you know, I, I think, I think they were okay. Like I went like here, here's what I told them. Um, I got contacted like two days before what happened was they were going to do the show and somebody canceled and they were like, Hey, um, uh, FPS Russian, uh, loves your stuff has been wanting to have you on the show for a while to talk movies. And so I was like, Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he's like, two days? I'm like, sure, I'll come on the show. We'll talk movies. I can talk movies till the fucking cows come home. So um, I went on, and in the beginning, like, we were talking movies, and it was great. And then um, Woody, apparently, now I'm, I'm just getting this from, from people that have told, like, Woody apparently doesn't like a lot of that stuff. So uh, he pivoted, and after about an hour of movie talk, we went into uh, just other stuff. And I am very much of the mindset of I am not the whole when it comes to like a radio show or something. So if I don't have anything really to add, I just kind of shut up. Like, what am I going to say? Like, oh, that's crazy. It doesn't add anything to the conversation. It's just this is words. So I just kind of kicked back and listened. And then eventually uh, the conversation came back around and it was a, it was something that I was able to interject with, and I got back in, and we talked, and then we went into video games, and I very jokingly made the mistake of mentioning that I was playing Honey Pop, uh, which was the because um, Honey Pop Two had just come out, and uh, uh, I was playing that, and apparently they really don't like anime, and the audience doesn't like anime either, so that pretty much sealed the deal that I was probably never going to be on there again. So, and then because after that it was just like like no no. <laughs> No, anything. It was just like, all right, yeah, see ya. You know, and and then never heard from them again. So, oh well, whatevs. I would if they call if they messaged me and said, come on, I would be like, absolutely. But you know, are we gonna talk movies or are we gonna talk like whatever the fuck? Um, uh, you know, maybe maybe let me know what you're gonna talk about, and I can kind of have a, uh, I can have a better idea. You know, I can look up some new stories or some shit. So, but I don't know. Hey, GBF wanted to say thank you for uh, your amazing work throughout the years. Here's to many more. Thank you, Media Ghost. I appreciate it. And yes, lots and lots more to come. There's no stopping it! <laughs> Eternal Nothing. Yeah, I did do a Super Mario Brothers movie. It got taken down, uh, but I'm going to redo that one sometime. Uh, I would, maybe this year. I don't know. Gabrea Bradley. Thank you for the super chat. Um, been following since 2013 fantastic content here's a deep cut for you ever seen the Japanese sci-fi gore flick biotherapy no I never saw biotherapy but I've seen bio zombie um, I love Japanese sci-fi gore movies I'm going to recommend one for you if you've never seen another heaven another heaven is fantastic um, but yeah bio let me, let me write that down biotherapy that's a new one for me Biotherapy. Um, gonna make more bucks on one stream than you did in a year. Twitch streams. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, thank you for talking about Gremlins Two as well. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, Gremlins Two. Uh, I think um did not get a lot of love. Although that one blew up because uh, Key and Peele did their Gremlins 2 video. 
And then a lot of people came and saw that. And yeah, Gremlins 2 was just, hey, let's go nuts. And I loved that about it. Uh, oh, Jason, it's because Cecil's an awesome dude. Thank you so much. Uh, I really recommend. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I love Six String Samurai. Yes, I saw that on cable way back in the day. That was such a good movie. Um, anyone here that Maddie Moose, the bassist of Psycho Stick, left the band? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Maddie Moose, they're good friends. Uh, Maddie, like I, I don't, you know, hell, they did my, my, they did my, uh, my intro, my outro, my um, cat inside of a cat video. Um, Psycho Stick are good pals, and and uh, Murph, the the manager too, good friends. Um, I think Matt just Maddie just. They, I don't know, you know, that's, that's for them. You're I mean, the killers, your whole sick society. That's who's guilty, man. We're just your lousy escape. Mm. Oh, I need to extend that by about a second. There's no stopping it. <laughs> yeah, Maddie, uh, but Maddie's a good dude. They're all good dudes. Um, can I possibly review Miracle Mile? Uh, Miracle Mile exploring coming possibly this year. Um, am I going to share my opinions on the MCU or Marvel films? Um, I thought I did. Um, some are good. Some are not good. <laughs> cool old PC screen. Thank you. I, I kind of, unfortunately, uh, I had to lower, uh, the, the resolution down to 720 so that it wasn't complete garbage, uh, streaming out of here. Um, and it cut off a little bit of my Tiger Mafia poster on the wall there. I'm going to, um, make... Uh, an improved video for the background there with a whole bunch of uh, clips from various shows. Uh, what's my favorite Mystery Science Theater episode? Oh, God. Um, that's a tough one. Possibly, I mean, I know it's Hack. Um, I mean, Manos is like the first one that comes to mind, but... Uh, I mean, I'd, no I don't know. <laughs> I'd have to really sit down and, and think. Um, Final Sacrifice too, yeah. Great fucking job. Thank you, Stark Parker. Uh, Eric Roberts might be open to talk. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Um, I could totally... Um, I, I have, have a friend of mine who worked with uh, Eric Roberts. Um, great dude. And he's, uh, he's another talker. Um... Been following you since 2013. Fantastic content. Here's a deep cut for you. Oh, I'm, I'm seeing a, a repeat there. Biotherapy. Um, could you do it exploring on Blade 2? Yes, I could. Um, maybe. Uh, Johnny Mnemonic. No stopping it. <laughs> Johnny Mnemonic is happening. Johnny Mnemonic is taking a very long time. There's no stopping it. <laughs> Johnny Mnemonic is is still coming, but Johnny Mnemonic is taking a very, very, very long, long, long time. So keep, just <laughs> keep, keep hoping. It, it, it's going to happen. It's just, I don't know exactly when. Uh, still broke, but this is a big moment. Moxie. Thank you, Matt. Um, oh boy. Oh boy, OBS just kind of pooped there for a second. Uh, so yes, I know Meet the Feebles. And thank you, Grey Alien. But yeah, Meet the Feebles is, uh, oof, that is, a, that is a tough one. Any chance for Phantasm 2? Absolutely. Um, yeah, Phantasm 2 is totally going to happen at some point. Um, have discovered many favorite cheesy movies watching you for the past 10 years. Thanks for sticking with the channel. P.S. Uh, when can we see a review of Super Fights? Thank you, Jim Leonard. Thank you so much. I recently um, found out about Super Fights. Um, it looks phenomenal. Um, the problem is right now, I like to... Um, I, I, you know, I getting, getting a good copy of it. So I, uh, what was it? SRS put it out 
uh, but they do very limited copies, and I think they sold. Uh, well, I don't think they sold out completely. So I'm really bummed. So I'm trying to land a good copy of it. But Super Fights, absolutely, that one looks amazing. Uh, if it makes you feel better, Woody is hated amongst fans of PKA to the point where it's a meme in the community. Really, it's Taylor carrying the show. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. Yeah, at, I didn't want to say that, but yeah, that was what I had, I had, a lot of people had said that they're like, yeah, he's, he's like the, the guy, but he's also the guy that nobody likes. Um, I, I had no, I, I had no beef with anybody. I just, I think that, like I said, I think that they just ended up not liking me and it happens, you know, uh, what horror movie, no matter how obscure, would you love to see get a sequel? Uh, absolutely love a waxwork three. Uh, I would love a, um, um, project metal beast is usually my go-to on movie on horror movie that needs a remake and horror movie that uh, I wouldn't mind seeing a sequel to, um, Mm-mm. Uh, could you please review Hatchet? Uh, I did. Um, I did Frozen. <laughs> uh, I would like to do Hatchet. I think Hatchet would be fun. Uh, Meatball Machine would also be good. Uh, I've been trying to find your review of Society. No stopping it. <laughs> um, yeah, Society was one of the blip videos. Uh, I'm going to redo it at some point, so don't worry. Um, Jake Speed absolutely is coming in the future. Uh, Lisa, I have seen. Lisa is, uh, is good stuff. Uh, that was the, hi guy. That was, uh, what's her name from, um, from Step by Step. Uh, what's the song you used in your early episodes? Keep up. Uh, that was a song called, um, Let's Do It by Martin Riappel. Uh, it was stock audio that I bought for ten dollars. Um, oh my god! Aditya Marks Marskol. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. Hello from India. Can you tell us a bit about your research process? <sighs> oh boy! Uh, how long do you have, dude? Thank you so much, dude. That is incredibly generous. Um. Uh, essentially, uh, I, I look at, uh, I'll, I'll give you the, the, the kind of, um, uh, a little bit of the reader's digest version, like the condensed version. Uh, cause I'll, I'll talk your freaking ear off. Um, essentially, um, I look at, I look at the movies that I love. I look at the movies that I like and I kind of, uh, look to see, um, what the companies are that have them. And cause there's a lot of movies from Paramount that I'd like to talk about, but I don't feel like dealing with Paramount because, uh, they're very, uh, copyright claimy. And so I'll, I'll go after like some other ones, uh, companies that I'm whitelisted by and whatnot. And then I think about, um, you know, who I know in the industry that I can talk to. Um, like this is going for, I'm, I'm assuming you want me to talk about the, the exploring videos. So, um, if it's somebody that I know, uh, I'll reach out and I'll say, Hey, uh, I would like to talk about this and, uh, you know, uh, what can you tell me? Do you want to chit chat? You know, I'll usually, uh, do you know the director? Uh, are you still in good turn? You know, and I'll kind of get in a hold of the director. Um, but if I'm going towards, that's where I actually know somebody. If I don't know somebody, um, I will go on social media and see if I can get a hold of them. Uh, I will look up if they have a website, if they have an email contact. Uh, I will let you guys know on a huge one right now. Um, and this is one that I, I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but I have been having a little back and forth with the assistant of the director who did Barb Wire. And I told him, I'm like, look, I showed him my work. That's the other thing too, is telling, because a lot of them, they're like, oh, they're, you know, because they're, they're always afraid that uh, their, their movies are going to get crapped on. And I'm like, no, dude, I'm like, look at what I do. I, I give them the, the most respect. I'm like, I want to talk about, I want to talk about what happened. I really want the history on this. I know there's a lot of people that would love to hear the story behind this because there's a lot of movies that I think, 
Uh, even if you don't like the movie, I think the behind the scenes story is really interesting. So uh, I have, um, but the director of, of Barbed Wire is, is really busy right now. So I've kind of been going back and forth between uh, his assistant and they're like, they're like, it's going to happen. It's just so fingers crossed that that happens. Um, but yeah, if, if it's somebody who I'm looking for, like, uh, I'll try to contact them and eventually, um, if I get a hold of them, uh, then I will, uh, I'll, I'll email them back and forth a little bit. We'll set up a time. We'll chat. Um, I'll do the video. I'll send them the video. They usually will tell me, you know, yes, it's great. No, you fucked this up. And then I go in and I make changes accordingly. Um, and then I release it and, uh, you guys enjoy it. So that is the the kind of condensed version. Uh, would I do Tetsuo trilogy? You know what? Uh, a lot of the a lot of foreign Whatever films into eternity. A lot of foreign films I really love, but as far as doing explorings on them, um, there is uh, the language barrier, and that makes things complicated. Uh, so unless uh, unless the director, because I I I understand, you know, I don't speak multiple languages but if the director does if he speaks english then that would just be great um like i really want to do one on if you ever saw a movie called no one lives uh it was from the director of versus um i would love to do a video on that but he does not speak the best english but god damn is that a good movie uh can i talk about your in search of darkness trilogy cuban uh what exactly do you want um it's i mean we got in search of darkness 90s coming out very soon um did FPS Russia die? Uh, I, Not to my knowledge. I'd be very sad if he did. He was very nice. Uh, I wonder what celebrities I have met and what stories I have to tell. I had dinner with Art the Clown uh, from from uh, from Terrifier. <laughs> and uh, and um, uh, I worked with, you know, uh, you know what? I'm not going to I'm not going to name drop. I do that on, on Twitch all the time and, and they yell at me for name dropping. Um Thank you so much for the uh, for Cuban for the uh, for the the super bit uh, super chat, Lee, uh, Mr. T, I pay the fool. I uh, hope you're having a good no night. Stopping it. Ah! Uh, what low budget action or sci fi film discovers to be um, deserves to be rediscovered? Um, I come in peace. That one's awesome. If you've never seen I Come in Peace, uh, also called Dark Angel, phenomenal film. Uh, thank you so much for the super chat, man. Uh, what is the worst Steven Seagal movie ever called? Attack Forces. Wow, I have not seen that one, but he put out some real bad ones. Uh, will I ever do an exploring of John Carpenter's Ghost of Mars? Ghost of Mars is in the works. Uh, it's another one that's taking a really long time. Um, because there's a lot of history there. It was originally, um, it was originally, uh, Escape from Mars. It was going to, and then it ended up not happening. And then it was Escape from Space and it kind of evolved into Ghost of Mars. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, it's a neat, neat movie. Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm almost, oh, wait, am I caught up? Oh, wait, no, I'm not. It just jumped ahead. Congratulations on your first live stream. Thank you, Deleted Scenes. Okay. Yeah, there's that. All right. So let me... Uh, I saw... I just passed by. Somebody said Dragon Slayer. There's no stopping it! Ah! Dragon Slayer is totally happening. Uh, I'm just not sure when. Gremlins 2, Hudson You're Hawk. Killers. Your whole sick society. That's who's guilty, man. We're just your lousy escape. Um... Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, Gremlins 2, well, I already did Gremlins 2, Hudson Hawk, Deep Rising, and I Come in Peace are all happening uh, at some point. Thank you so much, Joe. Um, yeah, I should do some more Hammer, shouldn't I? Uh, have ever covered the horror movie of Unknown Origin? The, the Giant Rat versus um, Peter Weller? Not yet. But at some point, yes. Yeah. Uh, Geo Dillion, you're my favorite YouTuber. You introduced me to so many movies. Would you do the third D and D movie? Absolutely. Thank you so much for the uh, the super chat. And yes, uh, I would absolutely do 
uh, the third D and D movie. Um, Darth Hugh. Hi. I re- actually uh, just watched Barbed Wire for the first time a few months back. Some good practical effects, set pieces, nice change of pace from modern day CG heavy stuff. It's essentially Casablanca with tits and explosions. Um, I mean, it, and and I'm I'm not even kidding. It is it, like I'm surprised they didn't get sued. It is so much Casablanca, um, but more like Asablanca. <laughs> There's no stopping it. <laughs> Mr. Brooks, Mr. Brooks is good. I hope that someday you do a Starship Troopers. There's no stopping it. <laughs> mm. Yeah, um, I love Starship Troopers. Uh, so much. So very, very much. That's the other thing, too, is that I have to make a conscious decision because whenever I do uh, a video, um, I have to dissect the movie so much that by the time I am done with it, I am. I just don't want to watch it again, and I, I won't watch the movie again. Even if it's a movie I love, I won't watch it again for years, which is why I'm like not doing like hardware and Starship Troopers and stuff because oh, it just hurts, you know. Like oh, but I really want to do them, but I will do them at some point. I uh, love to see a review Night of the Curse of the Demon. Uh, I have not seen that one. What's the origin story of the GBF rock theme? Um, the, the, the good bit, um, I, I essentially, um, the, the short version of the story, uh, I got contacted years ago by, uh, the manager of Psycho Stick, the band, and, uh, they were like, hey man, you know, I don't know if you know who we are, and I'm like, I know you guys, you're the beer is good guys, um, and they're like, we're really big fans of bad movies, and we love your stuff, and, um, we got to talking, and, uh, we, we basically made a deal where I would do a video for each one of them. Um, and well, no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, they really wanted me to do, um, uninvited, the Graydon Clark movie. And so I was like, Hey, wouldn't it be fun if you did an intro song? So they did, you know, he's a cat, an evil cat. And they did that. And my buddy did the animation for it. And that was really fun. That went over really well. And then they were like, Hey, there's a bunch of movies we would love you to do. And I was like, Hey, um, at the time, I was like, I want to have, like, my own theme. So I was like, look, I'll do a video for each of you in exchange for you guys putting together, like, a seven-second theme. And so they brainstormed, and they came up with that tune, and they sent it to me. There's no stopping it! (laughs) And that was basically that. Uh, Sailor Mercury! uh, Any chance we get it? (laughs) Any chance we get a video on Repo the Genetic Opera? Absolutely. Um, I don't know when, but yes. Uh, Razorbike, mwahaha, I need a mwaha, the French. You know me by a different name elsewhere, but you shall never know my true identity here. Oh, no. Well, thank you for the, uh, thank you for the super chat, uh, mystery, mystery person. Uh, I'm gonna, I, I, I'm gonna guess it's Silverberry, but, uh. Somebody from over on uh, some one of my one of my good folks over on uh, Twitch. There's no stopping it. No one's done 1988's Dead Heat yet. Right now, I find that hard to believe. Uh, I I I did Dead Heat at uh, a while ago. I I'm going to redo Dead Heat because there's a lot more that has come out about it. But um, thank you for the super chat. Depressed Canadian, do you think there's a B-movie celebrity who never got their due as respected actor as Lance Henriksen? I don't know. Lance is pretty respected in the industry. Uh, I met him about 10 years ago um, and had a really nice... No stopping it! Ah! Mm. Had a really nice chat with him. Uh, he is incredibly friendly. And, oh, that voice... Oh, his voice is just, is so good. Um, he, he is, he's something else. So I think that he's pretty, he may not have won Oscars, but he is beloved. Uh, I can't stay early morning. Good luck with the stream. You're leaving. Uh, oh, Brian Green. Well, thank you, dude. Um, uh, I did do Food of the Gods. I did Food of the Gods uh, two years ago, I think. 
Star Crystal is hilarious. Love Star Crystal. Uh, Wolfie96, thank you for the, uh, thank you for the super chat. I keep, I'm like, I, I have to keep remembering. I'm like, it's, it's a super chat. Um, uh, what are you doing, Cecil, sir? These peoples need to go to bed. Tell them to go to s my sleep emporium desk. Go to sleep emporium. I'll screw that you're go to sleep for four hours. Only $385. Yes, Gregory. <laughs> Joey. Thank you for the super chats and thank you for reminding me of how much I miss Ted. Ted Sheckler everything. Oh, Jimmy, what are you doing? Why, why? And Joey Palinkas with the sub. Thank you, dude. If you're here, I don't know if, if maybe you're just subscribing for another video. Dina Mayer is lovely. You can say you have your own Xbox achievement. I do. X Mariner! I know you. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Uh, first YouTube sub for Super Chat. Thank you. Uh, Kerr Dizzle. Well, thank you for the YouTube sub and thank you for the Super Chat. It is uh, very, very much appreciated. Um, yeah, I like Herschel Gordon Lewis. Um, I, I'm not super huge on his stuff, but I do like it. Um... Would I ever cover the... Oh, God, yeah, I would love to do uh, Day of the Triffids, uh, Wolfie. Thank you for the super chat. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, Day of the Triffids would totally... Uh, would love to do that at some point. Got to see Psycho Stick last May. Yeah, Psycho Sticker, uh, they're, they're good dudes. Um, I think I'm, like, catching up here. Uh, what's the backstory on changing your name from... Uh, well, I mean... It honestly, it was just for tax. It was just easier for tax purposes. Like when I started, uh, I did, I had named the, I had named the like production company after my cat. Like I didn't know that, I didn't know that 10 years from now I was going to, there's no stopping it. I didn't know years from now that, that I was going to be doing this. Uh, so I really just kind of did that. But once, uh, once I started, making it you know once it became my career uh i just for for ease of tax purposes i was like all right well it's just good bad flicks and that's just just it you know so um so that's really i mean that's really the story that was behind that one i honestly i really had uh like i mean because when i started doing this like everybody was doing this like that was when the review the review of verse blew up and everybody and their grandmother was was doing uh their version of, of um, you know, either Anger Video Game Nerd or, or Nostalgia Critic. Whatever into eternity. Um, could I do Night of the Demons? Yes. I've uh, been sub since 2014. And, um, oh, Adam's left, Adam's left testicle. Yes. Uh, was reading uh, Tank Girl and found your video back in the day and been subbed since. Thank you so much, dude. Yes, you've been here for quite a while. Arcade, hi, love your channel. Thank you. Um, Millennium was awesome. Millennium's one of my wife's favorite shows. Um, and she just, oh my God, does she love Lance Henriksen. His his book is, if you've never read uh, Not Bad for a Human, uh, I highly recommend it. Uh, his book is fantastic. It, you will fall in love with him. His work ethic is second to none. Dude is amazing. Uh, would love to see you talk about Leviathan. Uh, well, you're in luck. I did a video on Leviathan. <sighs> seven years ago i think yeah oh my god holy moly greetings from mexico love your videos and you inspire me to pursue creative products i would like to recommend Husera from 2022 a mexican horror movie thank you so very much uh nexus spencer i will put that on my to-do list let's see who Sarah, I have seen, uh, I haven't seen a lot of newer Mexican horror films, but there were a lot of them in the seventies. Um, and I, I did dig them. They're very, uh, weird, but, uh, I will give that a look. Um, Jim Galaxia. Oh my God, Cecil, you should do the streaming circuit that complements your stuff. 
Uh, there's Mahler Stuff's Nerd Rotic, Little Platoon, Beast Up, My Night's Edge, Movie Cynic, George the Giant Slayer, all perfect for you. Um, I I know some of them. Um, thank you for the the thank you for the super chat, by the way. But um, I would. I don't. There's no stopping it. I mean, I really don't know uh, a lot of the, you know, I don't know if, my whole thing is, I don't know who knows me. And then it's like, what am I going to be? Hey, uh, have me on your show. It, it Like getting asked to be on there is one thing and going and being like, hey, put me on, you know, I don't know. So yeah, I mean, I would, there's there's plenty of, of shows that I would do. Um, uh, let's see. Could you please do an exploring Vin Diesel Fast and Furious one? Um, honestly, nah, what's what's preventing Fast and Furious um, and and Pitch Black as well? Pitch Black was universal. Fast and Furious. Uh, who did Fast and Furious? Universal as well. Um, to to be real, um, I've been tinkering around with with the the black sheep of this series, um, Tokyo Drift which uh, I really, uh, I like. Um, so Tokyo Drift uh, will probably happen. Uh, thoughts on movie explain channels? Um, some of them are really stupid. Um, like, they, I, I don't know who is watching these videos and being like, I didn't understand the ending of Porky's. Like, so, it's, I don't know. Uh, I think that they're, I don't, I don't particularly, I don't have a problem with them, but I don't understand them. Because there's a lot of them that are just, like, what? Favorite horror game? That's easy, Silent Hill. Absolutely adore Silent Hill. Uh, was it intentional that Good Bad Flicks looks like Good Bad Fucks, or are you just seeing things? No, um, here's, here's the thing with that. Um way 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 back like i am not i am a video editor by trade um i left when when i was starting this i was you know i was a video editor for a college out here in in uh, pennsylvania and um but i'm not i'm not like a i'm not an artist so i put together a really bad um like good bad flicks logo and i was just like ugh. i never was really particularly crazy about it um but it was like it was like film and, and all that so um and i had a friend of mine who she is a graphic artist she kind of helped me out a little bit with it but um so what happened uh in 2014 i got a job freelancing for the escapist uh if you remember the escapist i think they're going to go out of business this year because everybody left um and made second wind um but uh they had one of the things they were like, hey, we need to jazz up your uh, your logo. And so they were like, give us a bunch of ideas. Give us a bunch of material. We will professionally give it to somebody and, and they'll, you know, one of our artists and they'll do a logo for you. So they did the logo and it just so happens that it came out. It looks great. And it, but it looks like good, bad fucks, simply because when you put an L and I together, it, you know, so uh, I didn't notice it, uh, but it was by that point, um, it was already out there in the wild and, um, it's kind of become a thing. And yeah, some people say it's good, bad, fl- good, bad fucks. So, uh, your exploring video on the mask was very fascinating. Thank you. That one was fun. Um, I mean, they're all fun, but, uh, well, some of them are, are headaches, but, but they're all levels of fun. Um, I love Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift is probably my f- my favorite um fast and furious after the first one most of them are just recaps of the movie not really explaining the ending yeah that too like there was somebody um in my discord well one of the guys in my discord had posted and there was these videos and, and this guy has millions of subscribers and all he does is like i mean i recap the movie but i do it in an entertaining way forever into eternity. I, I, you know, make jokes. I throw in Beavis and Butthead clips. I do all kinds of stuff. I throw 
old references and I kind of make it something else. And there are some uh, recap channels out there where they just they condense the movie into 20 minutes. And it's like he walks across the street and picks up the gloves and puts them on. He turns his head. So and I'm like, oh, my God, this is terrible. Who watches this? And, and apparently millions of people watch this. So, yeah. Um, uh, love your content. All your videos are top notch. Can you do a deep dive into the live action attack on Titan movie? It's Japanese, low budget and amazing. Lucas Hood, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, dude, I, I don't, I, I'll be honest with you. I've never seen, uh, the anime and I've never seen the movie. I'm not against it. It's just, um, it, it'll be something to check out. I know it's like liked, but I mean, I, I would probably end up doing like Tokyo Gore Police or, um, uh, what was it? What's the machine gun girl one? That one's God. I can't believe I can't think of that one. You guys probably are, are you know what I'm talking about? Tokyo Gore Police. And then there was the other one and then Meatball Machine. And yeah, um, they're good stuff. Um, I'm sorry, but you're going to bed. Enjoy watching your video. Keep it up. Oh, Devin Rice. No worries, man. I appreciate you being here at all. Thank you so much. Uh, ran into AVGN at the, uh, I used to live right there. I seriously used to live in walking distance of the Colonial Theater in uh, Phoenixville. Uh, I don't think I'm going to come out for Blobfest this year, but I might. Um, it, it's possible. I might, you know, uh, it, it might be fun. I think, I think, I think my son might, might dig it. And he would probably like the spectacle of it. That would be, you know what? That would be fun. I'll, I'll, I'll bring it up to the missus. Hmm. Yeah, there's one you like found flicks. Um, uh, yeah, I don't, I know the name, but I don't think I've ever seen that one. Yeah, I know. Uh, AVGN. Well, he's, he's in Jersey now, but it, thank you. Machine girl. That one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, there we go. Where her hand gets deep fried in tasty tempura. Am I a fan of the Godzilla franchise? Yes, I am a fan of the Godzilla franchise. Um, I have not, uh, I have not seen minus one yet, but, uh, we were talking about this the other night. I, I like, uh, Godzilla versus Biolanti, uh, it, Godzilla versus Bi Gon Ugh. Godzilla versus Biolanti. And Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla are, like, tied for my two uh, favorite classic Godzillas. Um, I do need to see Minus One. Everybody has been raving about it. It does look really badass. The ending of this movie is Scream Mad George knocked to physical effects out of the park. Oh, yeah. Uh, for, for what? Uh, Curse to the Bite? That is good stuff. Uh, it was great seeing Blood Beach on ice. Yeah. Uh, when we were doing... Uh, that I was like, we need to, we need to talk about some really obscure ones. So yeah, that's, I really took it for, they like, I, I interviewed for about four hours on In Search of Darkness 3, uh, cause the director, uh, was like, look, uh, I, there are some of these movies I really want to be in there. And so if we don't get some people, you're going to be... So apparently, like, they they put me in three a lot. <laughs> mm. Ah, I am just here. Just finishing off my, my golden note. Um, would love a deep dive on the Platinum Dunes remix. Um, I, I honestly don't like them. Um, I, I don't think that I liked any of them, quite frankly. Um, I have no problem if you do like them. But um, I just kind of thought they were they were weak, they were they were bad like cover tunes. Uh, since you've busted your face reveal, Sherry, are you getting any on camera, um, segments here? I don't know. Like really, um, it, it's just funny. Uh, I I grew up in a time when, um. Like, I didn't really get on camera. Yeah, I never really was in... I, I always feel more comfortable behind a camera than in front of it. Um, 
so that's kind of one of the reasons why I'm not on camera. Like, I mean, if, if you've seen me uh, in any, I mean, I've been on Tony's show a couple times. I've been on the In Search of Darkness movies. Uh, I've been at conventions. So I'm out there. And if you've seen pictures of me, you know that I, I'm, I don't have a, a third arm growing out of my head. So it's just a matter of, I don't know. I, I, I like, I'm one of those people that just kind of shies up in front of the camera. So like that was why when, uh, when I did do the show with Tony, we ended up, we were talking for a while before we started rolling. So it kind of got me a little bit comfortable, uh, before, uh, we started talking, uh, before we started doing the other video thoughts on Mike Flanagan. Um, I like Flanagan a lot. Um, I talked about him, uh, in pretty good detail when I did the video on, uh, the Oculus. Yes, I am the narrator. Uh, I just, I feel more comfortable, uh, being the, as somebody said, I'm, I'm the white Morgan Freeman. Isn't that something? Uh, James Swiney, uh, thanks for the Exploring Blair Witch 2, Book of Shadows, really liked that movie, and it was great seeing what could have been. Thank you so much for the super chat, and yeah, um, that is a bummer that, uh, I mean, I am lucky that I, I have the director's cut, um, but, you know, most people have never seen it, um, and that's, that's really kind of sad. What happens with the best and the worst? You missed that. Uh, I'll, what happened was um, I started watch like every year I always watch, you know, the movies. And 2019, I was watching so many movies and uh, they I watched like 10 movies in a row and they were all terrible. And I kind of it kind of burned me out because I was like, why are these movies like hundred million dollar movies? and They're all bad. And so, um, and then 2020 happened and I just, I never really got back to it. So, uh, if, cause now if I do, I got to go back and watch more movies from 2019 and cause I, you know, I'm not going to just jump ahead to 2023 and say, you know, oh, well, I'm just skipping these years. I'm maybe I'll watch them and combine, cause there wasn't very many movies over that time and combine them all. So. Um, I haven't seen the new, I, the, I saw the, uh, I saw Godzilla, uh, from 2014, um, and I liked it. I thought it was okay. And I saw Kong Skull Island. I liked that way more than I thought. Uh, so it was, uh, it was neat. Uh, I haven't seen the, the new one and I don't. There's no stopping it! Ah! There we go. Wow. That was a delay. Um. So my voice is like having your ears rubbed with velvet. <laughs> what is that velvet? Uh, I would go Stone Cold. Uh, Cobra is a badass movie, but man, Stone Cold is. Oh, that is just. Oh, it's so good. I love Stone Cold. The The mullet, the uh, Ariella Halsbog it is so good. Love that one so much. I uh, don't know if you do documentaries, but if you ever watch Woodlands Dark and Days Bewitched about folk horror. Uh, yeah, I, I love a good folk horror. Um, uh, what was that one? Uh, the Ritual. The Ritual's really fucking good. Uh, Dark Days. It's really good. Um, but yeah, if you haven't seen The Ritual, uh, it's on Netflix, but it's fucking really good. Um, people love you, dude. Even filthy casuals like me about these days. Honestly, man, uh, you'd make 10 times the money just hanging out on the team. Streams mention all genuine classic movie fans. Just have fun. Yeah, man. Um, I would. I don't have any, like, aversion to it. Um, as, I mean, see, my whole thing is, uh, again, like, that was the other thing, too, with the, with the, uh, the, the PKA. Uh, I wasn't on camera. There's no stopping it! Ah! I don't know if I, I don't know if people would have an issue with that. It's just, it's more comfortable. I don't have to worry, you know, I'd, I'd have to shave and <laughs> I don't want, that's the other thing too. I could just sit here in my fucking pajamas and, and not have to worry about it. But yeah, I'll check out those, uh, Wolfie, I'll check out the, uh, the documentaries. I love a good documentary. 
And I'm going to recommend an, uh, my all-time favorite documentary, The King of Kong. God, I, that is one of the most quotable. I, I mean, I know it's, I know it's not a hundred percent legit, but oh my God, do I love that that doc so much? Um, Godzilla versus oh, Godzilla versus Bambi is still the best. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> Cabin in the Woods video was truly amazing. That I am really glad that that video did well because oh my God, did I put so much time into that freaking movie? <laughs> 2020 happen. I think that means what it means when I say the public health crisis. Well, it, like just everything, everything upended in 2020. And I'll just leave it at that. Uh, no love for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That was a bit, I didn't care for it. Um, I don't think that uh, that was Marcus Nispel. Um, he did one movie that uh, was an original movie. That There's no stopping it! <laughs> He did one movie that I, I kind of liked, but uh, I did not. I don't know. I, I, I did not. I, again, it's fine if if you like it. I don't have any problem with. But I don't know. I didn't care for it. Um, it felt it was it was too glossy, and I mean yes, Jessica Biel, lovely, um, and and I mean the gore was was pretty good, but I don't know. It just it didn't vibe with me. Probably because, uh, like, there are certain movies like Texas Chainsaw that I don't think they should be remade. Um, I think they should just leave him alone. Um, Ninja Three: The Domination on the Horizon, the most, uh, yeah. I, 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 There's no stopping it. Absolutely. Um, probably what's going to happen uh, after I talk to Mr. Furstenberg about um, Break into Electric Boogaloo, I'll probably move on to Ninja Three: The Domination. Um, Cause that is, uh, you know, because that was where, because you had Lucinda Dickey, and then she did that one, and I, she uh, retired not too much uh, after that. My voice is amazing. Oh, Free Jack, thank you. It's um, uh, it's funny. I had a my my voice is kind of an accident. Um, when I was younger, there's no stopping it. <laughs> When I was in my my formative um, vocal years, uh, I was smoking clove cigarettes, and if you don't know, uh, clove cigarettes rip your lung or they rip your throat. Uh, I think it's seven times worse than a uh, Marlboro Red, and so I was hacking after like six months of because you're not really supposed to smoke clove cigarettes with any regularity, um, but they tasted so good, so um, I I like did. I did just enough damage to my throat that makes it supple. <laughs> so, oh, totally X-Files. Love the X-Files. Condemned. Uh, oh, God, yeah, Condemned. That was uh, the the Steve Austin movie. Uh, what I like about your channel, RLM and the Horror Geeks, that you guys focus on the films and not political culture war stuff along with the movies. Thank you, Debress Canadian. One of my biggest things is my my political thoughts are my own business because no matter what my personal feelings are uh inevitably it's going to alienate half my audience um and so when i'm talking about stuff i'm not here to tell you who to vote for I'm not here to tell you like i'll talk about certain things there's no stopping it <laughs> But not, um, but not in, There's no stopping it. <laughs> um, but not in a video. My videos are all about whatever the subject is about. So if it's about whatever movie, I might make some, some jokes, uh, that are a little, you know, current time topic. Um, but it's never, uh, it's never to the degree of, of shoving politics in someone's face. So, because politics is my least favorite subject, and I want, I, I just do not want to talk about it. I like talking about movies, I like talking about video games. There's no stopping it! And, yeah, so thank you, I, and it's appreciated. 
Reminder, PK used to send each other CP as a joke, but they gave me shit for playing Honey Pop. Wow, I did not know that. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, whatever. <laughs> uh, Film Nerd, a uh, longtime fan, been watching your videos for years, an absolute inspiration. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that so much, man. Uh, I have to call it a night. Congratulations again. Hope we get to do it again soon. Deleted scenes? Absolutely. Um, tonight um, was going really well. So, yeah, I think you will see me back here uh, a little bit more often. Um, let me see what else. Billy Mitchell provides endless entertainment. Dude, fucking Billy Mitchell. <laughs> oh, this film is not yet rated. It is very good. If you've never seen that, that is really good. I uh, wonder if the guys that made The Void would ever pull an Evil Dead and remake their own movie with a bigger budget. Um, well, the the guys that did The Void, um, they were the guys that did, uh, that was, uh, what was it? Um, they did uh, The Editor, and they've kind of all moved on to, like, really big stuff. So, Joss Whedon has done the most damage to Hollywood in the past 30 years because everybody tries to write like him, and now every movie is... Yeah, like, well, the, the thing is with... No like they're they're kind of missing like why his stuff is like i i have been very disappointed with him as of late but i will not deny the fact that he when he was writing for like buffy and stuff he was on fire um but he kind of turned into a parody of himself and unfortunately uh the mcu is the biggest culprit of this uh, whereas they can't just let a movie be, it has to have a joke. And that was what drove me nuts about a few of their movies where it's like this really tense, serious moment. And it's like, joke, 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 joke. And it's like, they just break all the tension and ruin it and just drove me nuts. So. Thing I noticed when I first started watching several years back is that by not appearing in the videos, you really put the movies first with many YouTubers who might say rarely get a movie clip. Oh, yeah. Well, that's that's the other thing. Um, I'm not. I am the narrator. I am here to talk about the movie because way back when I first started, I'm not going to say who and it's not a big YouTuber, but there was one relatively big at the time you um video guy and it was 10 minutes into the video before he finally started talking about the movie and with me no none of that shit first and foremost the movie is the whatever i'm talking about is the focal point if i'm talking about a movie i'm talking about a video game i'm talking about uh, television. It's not about me. It's about whatever I'm talking about. Now I'll give my thoughts at the end, but in the beginning, <clears throat> excuse me, hold on a sec. <clears throat> but, but hold on. I got to mute here for a second. <clears throat> um, but the, the whole thing is, that Forever into eternity. the focal point is always whatever I'm talking about. So yeah, that was a big thing with me. That's another reason why I didn't want to be on camera um, because I didn't want to, because uh, I think a lot of times mugging for the camera and whatnot, you're taking the focus uh, off of whatever you're talking about and focusing on you. And honestly, not up with that. Uh, Nico VHS, great channel, like your videos. Thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> could I do an exploring video on the Wolfman remake? Possibly. Um, probably going to do Wolf with Jack Nicholson first. Love the plumbers. Don't wear ties video. Maybe a night trap or slam city one. Um, the plumbers don't, I can't tell you how much I love that. I was able to do the plumbers. Don't wear ties like that. That was that was a bucket list. And now I know a lot of people would be like, what, really? What? No, that video, or that video, that video game is, is something special to me. That video game means something to me that I can't even properly explain. So, um, yeah, the, the plumbers don't wear ties video, being able to talk to the, 
uh, to talk to, to Janine and to talk to um, Mike and like get all of that together, get the story of how, because I mean, people like James did the video and, and I mean, people have mocked it and whatnot. And they, but I mean, I, I needed to know how that movie happened or I'm sorry, how that video game happened, how, and it was just a dude that wanted to see, like, he's like, I just want to see if I can do it. He had a shit ton of money that he made from selling his mapping software. And he's like, I wanted, I just wanted to see if I could do it. And he did it. And it was awesome. And, uh, and now I was looking at it today. I, I now am a part of plumbers. Don't wear tie his ties history. I, I bought the, the, I have the PS five collector's edition coming and, um, I have, uh, I bought the digital copy on, on PS5 so I could play it today. And Oh, that's the other thing, too. Friday, if if you want to see me play Plumbers Don't Wear Ties, uh, subscribe. Uh, or you don't have to subscribe, but follow the the, the Twitch channel. I'm going to be playing it over there. That is going to be a hoot. Uh, have I seen Caviano on Shudder? If so, what did you think? Uh, thank you, Braden Deans, uh, for the super chat. Um, I had to cancel Shudder. Um, I love them. They were a great sponsor and, um, I did very much like their product. Unfortunately, I had to cancel a lot of my, um, I had too many streaming services that I wasn't using. And so, uh, they were one of the ones that had to go. So I have not seen it. Uh, rewatched King Kong Liz recently. Good Lord. You love that movie. Nothing else beats Kong's undergoing urban heart surgery. You know, I've never seen, um, King Kong lives. I've seen ape. <laughs> I've seen ape the Brad Jones voice. Yes. Yeah, sometimes, um, sometimes I do find myself, I have a little bit of a drawl and I have had people that in the beginning were like, you sound like, like the cinema snob. I'm like, I don't think that much. Um, so thank you again to Press Canadian. Uh, how about Prime Target with David Tony Curtis? Oh, there's somebody who wants to see. <laughs> there's somebody who wants to see Plumbers Don't Wear Ties on Friday. Could I review the Ringu series? Absolutely. Um, I knew I was a what a degenerate. I was a um. I, that's weird. I wonder why that is. I guess because I have Streamlabs on but i have streamlabs youtube on not streamlabs twitch that's funny that that my bagul is coming up bagul. <laughs> yes friday night i am introducing my wife to uh the joy of plumbers don't wear ties i've been talking to her about it forever and so she's finally going to see it in all its glory and ryan uh hard tech uh, with the sub, thank you. Um, yeah, Ringu series, uh, or, le or at least the very, or maybe a history of, I don't know. Uh, definitely something Ringu. Uh, I remember watching In Search of Darkness, was surprised to see what you look like. Uh, not in a bad way, but I heard your voice for years, didn't know what to expect. That's kind of the thing. Like, I'm like, as I tell everybody, I'm like, I am just, I'm, I'm your average dude, you know? Like, I look like anybody that you would, you know, like, I, I don't, uh, I'm not, I'm not a movie star. Um, you know, I, I have a, <laughs> I don't have a face for radio. Thankfully I am not, I am not a gargoyle, but, uh, I, I just, I am your average dude, you know, chopping mall is, or should I say was, um, chopping mall was my second video I ever did and I'll come back to this just one quick second if you want political movie reviews style. <laughs> um, too many YouTubers cry woke these days I think I think too many cry everything like both both ways it's just exhausting and so consequently I just I stay out of it uh, opinion on Titans um, my, my friend Brian works on Titans <laughs> I haven't seen it <laughs> but I um, it's, I feel bad but um, I, I think it, it's probably good. Um, I don't like the choice for... Um, I have a problem with Starfire. Um, but apparently the show ended up being good. 
So I, if, if it's good, I'm willing to overlook some things, but I don't know. I'm kind of getting tired of, of uh, like, like casting and, 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 and whatever. Um, D rock. Love the channel. Thank you. Um, but anyway, yeah, chopping mall, chopping mall was the second video I ever did. Uh, that was on blip. Uh, and I'm going to redo, uh, Oh, Titane, not Titan. Oh, okay. Yeah. Titane. Um, the one with the, there's no stopping it. Ah! Uh, the one where he fucks the, or the, somebody fucks a car in that. I haven't seen it yet. Um, but yeah, um, I, I, I will see it at some point. Uh, there's a whole YouTube industry dealing with media you hate versus talking about stuff you love. Yeah, that's, that's the thing with me, like, uh, which I think confuses some people. Like, like I, all of this stuff that I, like, unless I'm doing a movie review, like, cause then it could go either way. It's something I like, something I don't like. But if I'm doing a good bad flicks video or I'm doing an exploring video or something, I'm talking about a movie or a TV show or something that I like. And I do think that there is an industry on here that just thrives on hatred. And, and I mean, and they're doing very, very well for themselves because there are a lot of people out there that just want to hate stuff. And and rightfully so. There are some stu- some things that suck. Some things need to be called out. But I do think that um, a lot of times they just they focus on so much negative it becomes almost a parody of itself. Um, uh, nice seeing us stream in a long time. Thank you, Sean. I haven't had a had, this is the first one I've ever done on here. What are my thoughts on the horror comedy? Oh, I love the Monster Squad. I uh, just watched that with my son a couple years ago. Or actually, no, not even a couple years ago. Uh, late last year, I think. Um, really good. Yes, more movie chat, less politics. Um, uh, oh, I'm trying to catch up here. Let's see. Here's a few bucks for many years of deep cut references, like a really Ooh. wide array of stuff. Be various... With the super chat, dude, thank you so very much. I greatly appreciate that. Um, yeah, uh, I I grew up glued to the television, and so consequently, uh, my adulthood is just like this. Is just how I am. Like I I am I reference shit. I talk like so much so that my wife just sometimes is like. Can we can we fucking can we be serious here for me? <laughs> Full Moon really missed out on a cross promotional advertising campaign by not teaming up with Ragu Sauce for this subspecies movies. <laughs> ah, Radu, what are my thoughts on the DC Cinematic Universe? Oh boy, um, if they would have left it in the hands of Zack Snyder. Um, we, they would not be bankrupt, uh, right now. They would be in a, they would, they would be in a phenomenal position because they are the, the counter M, uh, to MCU. Um, cause now everybody's talking about how much, uh, they're tired of the, the comedy with the MCU. And it's like, well, you had somebody who was making something that was, serious and it took the it took the subject matter seriously and it did it with respect and it wasn't fucking cracking jokes every two seconds and you you pooped it out so um uh no it wasn't nostalgia critic and it wasn't chris duckman um god this was like i think this was before chris duckman quite frankly um it was uh i i don't want to say it's somebody who is still around though but it was seriously, it was like 10 minutes before he, he got to the fucking video, before he talked to them about the movie itself. You recently watched one of your videos and immediately got hooked onto your channel. Really like your videos. Keep it up. Thank you, Penguin Lover. I appreciate that. Uh, video games exploring mutant league football hockey. Um, again, if I'm going to do, um, if I'm going to do a video game one, uh, it's probably going to be a video game one that is kind of um, adjacent to... Um, Movies, so um, like like plumbers don't wear ties. Plumber don't wear ties is you know a well, it's, um, PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> There's no stopping it. Ah! Um, 
Are you a fan of old Star Trek? You're the killers! Your whole sick society! <laughs> That's who's guilty, man! We're just your lousy escape! Oh, man. Like I said, I really got to I stress it out in a second. Um, uh, I love old Star Trek. Um, I, I am good with Star Trek all the way up to Enterprise. Uh, after that, no comment. Um, I uh, just want to say love the channel. Thank you, 90s are rad. 90s are rad. Uh, have you ever had contact with Red Letter Media? No. Um, and I, I, and that's not, um, me, like, besmirching them. I, I like Red Letter Media a lot. If they ever, like, we do have a lot of crossover audience. Uh, they have a lot more of a crossover of a audience. But, uh, if they ever, uh, asked me to do something, holy shit, yeah, I would, I would love to, to, to do something with them. Um, but honestly, I don't know if they know I exist. Um, I know a lot of uh, I know a lot of other YouTuber channels. Like um, I know I know um, Nostalgia Critic. I know knows who I am. I know uh, Angry Video Game Nerd. Um, I know Tony Hack the Movies. I know um, Chris Stuckman. Uh, who else? Like who? These are people who I've had like conversations with. Like not just uh, so so it's not just uh, you know they they thumbed up one of my videos or something but no i've actually had like interaction with them um but as far as red letter media no i've, I've never uh no peep out of them not even so much as uh like you know a uh, uh an email or something so uh, i would absolutely do something with them if they ever but i mean god they're they're getting like macaulay culkin and and like actual celebrities on their show uh i don't think they need you know some small youtuber <laughs> to be on their uh to be on their show i would i would love to but uh eh. uh i used to enjoy the nostalgia critic but when he started adding more and more sketches you immediately lost interest he was just like i mean he was he was trying to to um make it more um copyright friendly um and i think he i mean uh, his audience obviously they i mean in general they like, I mean, he, he is doing the best he's ever done on here. So plumbers don't wear ties is such an anomaly of a game. Uh, I'm glad you got to research. I am it too, man. I, I just am over the fucking moon that I was able to do that. Uh, been a huge fan of horror geek and channels that literally just recap the movie. Uh, I normally just skip to the end of his videos to hear if the movies are gory, but that's it. Oh, you never, never been a huge fan of horror geek and channels that, um, would you enjoy a movie of the mass that dives into more of the horror and violence? Absolutely. Um, I think now, uh, if they were to do a remake of the mask, but make it more like the comic, that would be fantastic, but it would have to be R. It would have to be very R. People still watch AGN movie reviews. James just reads from the, um, I, I'll just say no comment. I don't, I honestly don't know. Um, I think that he, like people, they, he's, he's trying to give the audience, uh, what they want. And, uh, it, I mean, he kind of got a little hosed with, uh, the one dude who was, uh, who got busted plagiarizing, which again was not his fault at all, which is not James's fault. Um, but they really, they should have vetted the people better. But, um, no, I mean, I, with with um with James doing the uh um Monster Mania and all that, I mean that's he's trying to give the audience what they're what they want. And I mean an obvious mm, excuse me, I am <laughs> um he's trying to give the audience what they want. And obviously it's working because his videos they still get millions of views. There's no stopping it! Ah! Did not expect to learn so much about plumbers don't wear ties. So thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I I went I went all in on that one. <laughs> I was very excited. Uh, you have ruined Josh's life since you left him. He's going back to school. <laughs> yes. Well, Josh, I I love Josh. For those of you who don't know, Josh Hadley is a good friend of mine. He is the grumpiest old bastard. Um, I when I first met him, he was going through a really nasty divorce. And he was really miserable. 
And so he got through his divorce. He moved out. He got his own place. He got himself a big titted girlfriend. And I thought that, you know, he would kind of start to cheer up. No, he's just naturally grumpy. Um, <laughs> uh, Kurt Dizzle, thank you, man. Have a good night. Uh, oh, uh, I am. Oh, did I? Oh, here we go. Uh, oh God, I am. I am sorry. I'm way back on super chats here. Uh, ever played Fox Hunt? Uh, a long time ago. Uh, I played a lot of FMV games. I streamed a lot of FMV games. Um, uh, I streamed, uh, you'll actually see my, my outro is Night Trap. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, your video on the OG Super Mario Brothers movie is absolutely fascinating. One of my all-time favorite YouTube videos. Any chance of ultra quick recap? Um, oh God. Um, uh, I, Umbrella? The, the Australian Blu-ray uh, boutique company just put out uh, an amazing Super Mario Brothers um, Blu-ray box set that has a 4K version of the movie, something I never thought I would ever see, um, as well as a book of a, a shit ton of back behind the scenes stuff. Um, I would uh, I would absolutely love to um, to kind of dig into that. And to to put together a, a, an updated video, um, but yeah, I just all I can think of is the the, the cunt and the cow, where uh, it was what they uh, Bob Hoskins called uh, the uh, the Morton and Jenkel the directors. Uh, he hated that, and it's a shame because I, I I love the movie. I love what it kind of became. Um, I haven't read Charles Band's new book yet. Uh, I do have it, but I haven't read it yet. Thanks for all your hard work on how in depth you go into creating your videos. Thanks to you, I remembered all the movies and TV shows that I forgot about. Been a member since you uploaded your Fall of G four video. Well, thank you for the twenty bucks, man, and thank you for that. Um, that's amazing. I, I love that. Uh, the G four video. That was another video that was very personal to me um, because I was there at like the foundation of G four. I made so many lifelong friends through G four. Um, I hung out with Tommy Tallarico. Um, I, I've been to multiple people that I've met through G4. I've been to their weddings. Uh, they've been to my wedding. Um, so yeah, the G4 video was really special. And that was why, like, I got a lot of people that are like, you know, are you going to do an updated G4 video? And I'm like, it'll be really short because it, it didn't even last a year. <clears throat> Nights with the Fox. How are you? Doing good. Glad you came back after your sad aid. I'm glad. Well, I mean, I, I, that's the thing. I, I wanted to let everybody know I was coming back, but I just, I needed some time. It was a, it was a really, really tough. Uh, yeah, that animated clips from Visionaries. Uh, do you, oh, that's the other one too. Um, I, I've talked to, um, to Dead Meat James. Um, I don't watch his stuff. Uh, it's, uh, but, but I've, I've, uh, uh, I've talked to him a couple times. He's a nice guy. Just drop him by to comment to say you're a favorite viewer and keep up the good work. Thank you, Gray Chaos. I appreciate that. Um, okay. YMS. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. YMS mentioned me in uh, the Frozen video because we had the f we had Frozen came out. Uh, at the same time, we both uh, we both did two very different versions of of talking about Frozen. Who's my favorite actress? Uh, God, I have I'm not sure. My favorite actor is Peter Weller. Uh, my favorite actress, uh, I'd have to really think about that. Arlem doesn't like to admit that they watch other channels. Uh, what are my thoughts on the new Jordan Peele Twilight Zone? Uh, oh, holy crap. Uh, Nexus Spencer. Um, dude, uh, I... There's no stopping it! Ah! The new Jordan Peele, uh, I, I, I don't think it's necessary. Um, he, he, I mean, why not do, like, Cosmic Slop or, or something? Um, like, I don't know, resurrecting the, the Twilight Zone again? 
Um, I I don't know. I think it, it I think it's unnecessary. Uh, what are my newest good bad flick that caught your eye? Um, a movie that I'm going to have a lot of fun with um, soon. Uh, Diamonds of Kilimanjaro. Uh, Diamonds of Kilimanjaro and um, Justice Ninja Style are oh my god both both are something else like if if you haven't seen either of them um both magical for for different reasons um going to finish the master's run yes um i'm i am i'm a completionist so expect the masters eventually um Yeah, oh, Brotherhood of the Wolf is all yeah, Brother of the Wolf's good stuff. There's a guy who looks identical to the nostalgia critic that also reviews movies. Oh wow. That's interesting. Um We need one more good movie with Tom Atkins. We could get it. Uh no, Zircon. This is just uh, you know. I'm I'm branching out. Now we're gonna be on um we're gonna be on Twitch on Friday, uh doing a full playthrough and possibly commentary uh of Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. More than likely I'll probably talk a little bit about it. I'll play the game and then I'll talk a little bit more about it at the end. And then maybe I'll play the video. What are my thoughts on the crazy house and destroy all neighbors? Uh, I haven't seen destroy all neighbors. I heard really good things. Uh, they like you enjoy their freedom and independence and quite isolated from interacting with those too much. Many YouTubers, big and small, say they love RLM, but say they are an unknown regarding team up. I mean, they haven't they done. They've done stuff with other YouTubers before, I think. No, Mark Dacascos and the homely Monica Bellucci. Uh, Mark Dacascos is awesome. I love that dude. Yeah, Tom Atkins is still kicking. Uh, do you hate Doug after the whole channel thing? No, Billy. Why would I? I don't... Oh, you want to... <laughs> Take your damn clothes off. Oh, there will be a lot of that on Friday. That'll be... Take your damn clothes off. Oh, I, I cannot wait to show Plumbers Don't Wear Ties in HD. It is fantastic. Um... That is going to be a good, good time. There might even... Where's my... Oh. Shut up! Shut up, you rascal! <laughs> <laughs> I think I... I think... Did I get all the... Did I get all the, the super chats? I, I'm going to feel terrible. Oh, am I excited for James Gunn's DCU? No. I'm not. James, if it was... Maybe 10 years ago, I might have been very excited. But James Gunn is is just, he's, he doesn't have it anymore. Uh, Gabrea Bradley. I'm definitely going to do more. And and JL2023, hi. Yeah, I am definitely going to be doing more. So you you shall see me on here. I'm, I think I might, um, Tuesdays might be, might be the night. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm. I am I am figuring things out, but I will be here more. Been watching this is 2012. Dylan the villain, holy moly, dude! Thank you so much. Didn't know you were on G4. No, I was not on G4. Um, I I just I was on the G4 forums and I got in like really good with a lot of the people there. Like I I uh, I used to talk to to Vic and Tommy and um, and AGN. Uh, Scott, um, like, cause they, they, they were very interactive. They played, uh, Xbox live with a lot of us. We played Xbox live with, uh, with T-Dub 
and um, we had like all kinds of stuff. And I like hung out with Tommy at uh, some of the game conventions, and uh, like I said, and I got to know a lot. So I didn't, I didn't work for G four, but I knew a lot of stuff, and I knew a lot of the people that did work there, and so that's kind of that whole thing. Uh, the rise and fall and rise again. I, I want to do one on sci-fi channel, basically like G4. Um, was that, no, that was, uh, that, that was Mr. Uh, the guy from plumbers. Oh, I totally am blanking on his name. See, now I'm like winding down. Uh, your videos and Twitch streams help me through the good times. Uh, and your low points keep the awesome job you're doing, buddy. Stay awesome, my friend. Oh, you're welcome, Fox. Thank you so much, man. Maximum overdrive will happen, yes. Diamonds need some... Oh, diamond... Yes, Scamdar. Gi Diamonds of Kilimanjaro uh, is going to require some creative editing, yes. Movie dumpster, make it happen. Uh, they... I was at... Um, I was at the, what do you call it? Um, I was at Screenwave one day when they were there. Back when Tony was still uh, doing his show from over there. I, I, you know, I said hi. So I've at least spoken to the movie dumpster, dude. <laughs> uh, can you please look into Wilder Napalm? Oh my god, that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Um, oh, wow. Some of the, huh, it's weird. Why are some of the chat, like, repeats? Another film is uh, Top Cappy, starring Peter Ustinov. It's a comedy heist film, except for the heist scene itself, which is incredibly dramatic and blows away. Mission Impossible. Top Cappy. I'm, like, Top Cappy. I'm getting all these recommendations Mark Dacascos was a really good Eric Draven yeah he was a really good Eric Draven in a not good crow TV series how about a five forgotten show UPN edition I I did <laughs> I did do a UPN one uh I I did uh I did the first year of UPN um yeah Oh, Ice Spiders is funny. Uh, it hasn't kicked up yet, but uh, maybe this will... You're the oh, there it goes. Your whole sick society. That's who's guilty, man. We're just your lousy escape. This is your first super chat. You've been a fan for over a decade now. Your videos have gotten me through some really dark times. I'm glad uh, you're my first super chat. Drexton Miyabi, dude... Thank you so very much. I am glad in my own little way I could help. Um, I, I, I've i heard that a few times, uh, you know, that I've I've been a positive force in somebody's life and given them something to look forward to. And honestly, it's very humbling. And uh, I appreciate your reaching out like that and letting me know. Um, I'm glad that, uh, you know, me doing my me talking and, and doing something that I love and I'm glad that it's actually like making a, a difference, you know? So, <laughs> um, critical drinker, uh, famously said, love to talk. RLM, uh, super chat of his said a, he would have saying you can make it work. Hmm. Well, critical drinker is somebody who is like, is pretty huge. So, I mean, if anybody was going to get on there, I could see him doing it and they would probably, they would probably getting along, get along. Well, how long does an average video take? Um, a, the average good, bad flicks video takes about a week and the average exploring video, um, it takes, uh, uh, anywhere from like two months to, I will say the fastest exploring video I've ever put together took a month. The longest, um, 
exploring video uh, took six years. So I uh, ne never let it be said that I am not uh, um, diligent and I, I, I put heart and soul and time and everything else into these. And that video was, um, uh, the, the one that took six years was nothing but trouble. Um, now granted I wasn't working on that for six years, but it was six years of trying to find people that wanted to talk about it because it is a sore spot for a lot of people's, um, careers. Dacascos has a lot of really good movies. I think Drive is his his best movie. Yeah, uh, Nothing But Trouble took six years to do. I hope one day I can be a full-time... It, it is a full-time career for me. <laughs> it's been a full-time career for me uh, since 2015. I've been doing this almost... Uh, I was doing it essentially for free up until 2014... And then um, I started doing it full time in 2015 when I got laid off from my job and uh, I managed to make it work and it'll be 10 years full time next year. Uh, depressed Canadian, your girlfriend did believe there was a real sitcom called Homeboys in Outer Space. The 90s were a different time. You know what, though? Homeboys in Outer Space is legit funny. <laughs> Matty Ice, good bad flicks. Six six years for nothing but trouble. <laughs> it was it was something else. I wonder why. Man, there is a. I wonder what the why the delay with some of these. Should there be like a um. I've seen some. Uh. Some people that we'll have the super chat pop up on screen. Um, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> uh, because I thought maybe that was something that, that would ha like, it, There's no there it goes. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, so I'm going to have to like, l l try to figure that out. This, like I said, tonight was really just me trying to figure this stuff out, seeing, uh, how well it did. Um, oh, I just saw, uh, yes. Freakins to live in, a lot, bleh, live and die in LA. Absolutely. Uh, I love Adrian Paul. Adrian Paul was, uh, was, was great in Highlander. Um, he's somebody who I think should have been bigger. He was really handsome. He was a good actor. He had a good accent. And, uh, I don't know. Uh, the only other m thing I really remember him from... There's no stopping it! Ah! The only other thing I really remember him from was, uh, Love Potion Number 9 with, uh, Sandra Bullock before Speed. Um. It's true. When I have a bad day, I put on one of your videos. Oh, thank you, Free Jack. What's my favorite martial arts movie from the 70s? Ugh. Uh, God, uh, when was, when was Super Ninjas or Five Element Ninjas? Was that the 70s? Five. Five that was the 80s. Okay. I thought that, I wasn't sure. Five Element Ninjas, I freaking love. Uh, I would, maybe, um, Master of the Flying Guillotine. I think that was, that was 79, I think. Um. Actually, watch something but trouble because of you. This is the best stream I've been on in a long time. Thank you, David. I appreciate that. Uh, I I am not. I am one that likes to talk, and I I hope that I am being entertaining in my yapping. Um, but yeah, the uh, the nothing but trouble video. I finally was able to get a hold of uh, of somebody who worked on it, and once I got one guy, then it kind of led from there, and I ended up getting a whole bunch of story so uh yeah it went over really well and i'm glad i and then and then of course uh about a year after i put the video out then shout factory does a thing and i, I love shout factory uh, I'm, i have a great relationship with them but it just was funny that it was like 
I worked my ass off to get this story. And then they, they end up doing the same thing. <laughs> review. Oh, wow. It just jumped ahead there. A uh, review of monster club. Uh, was that the one with David Carradine? Um, probably. Yes. Um, most likely I'll do a, a, a video on that. If it's the one I'm thinking of. Uh, also, what non-horror movies scared you uh, most? Mine is A Beautiful Mind. Thank you for the good times and showing new movies. Thank you for the super chat. And I would say um, best w uh, the non-horror movie that scared me was uh, Day After Tomorrow. Or, I'm sorry, uh, The the Day After. The, the nuclear war movie. That terrified me. Terrified me when I was little. Um. Just wanted to say thanks for all your hard work in the five unknown movies, TV show. They've turned me onto some great stuff. Really appreciate those videos. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You would be down for more streams. That's good. More are going to happen. Uh, if th this was, uh, this was awesome. Shout factory now owns Alf. Uh, I, I guess they bought the rights to Alf. Um, I guess, <laughs> Who doesn't love Alf? He's back in pod form. Uh, been watching since uh, Jamie from Mess. I've been watching since the beginning. I wanted to thank you for all your awesome content. We need Howard the Duck. Good bad flicks. Uh, I did. Unless it got taken down. See, as some of these, I don't even remember if they're up anymore. Um, I did Howard the Duck. God, 10 years ago. Um, if, if you go and you look it up and it's not there, then somebody claimed it and it got taken down. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for the, uh, for the, I keep saying, I want to say bits the, for the super chats. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Um, Freaked is awesome. Freaked is fantastic. Um, I had, when, uh, when we were doing uh, in search of um, in search of darkness, and we had um, Alex Winter uh, interviewed, I wasn't able to interview him, but I asked. I was like, "Look, do me a favor. Tell him that Freaked is awesome. <laughs> Freaked is oh, it Threads. Threads is also devastating. Uh, but I didn't see Threads until like older, so it doesn't hit. It didn't hit me as hard." Ah! Drexton wanted to give you a little more because you're an awesome chill dude but it's late and you work construction so early morning and you gotta plan a movie list for your sister of great flicks good night well thank you dude for all the super chats and thank you for hanging out uh, and I appreciate I appreciate you doing the construction man I uh, I worked in a warehouse for uh, or I should say worked in warehouses for 20 years and I have the most respect for, uh, for people that are doing the jobs that really are keeping everything running. Um, so like before I got the, There's no stopping it! <laughs> before I got the job video editing, cause I was, I was in school and everything else, but forever into eternity. It's it's a whole thing, but uh, so I I worked in a truck warehouse, I worked in a tool warehouse, uh, lifting heavy things, and so at least I was inside of a warehouse. Working out in construction, man, is just rough. So uh, you know, my my th my thumbs up to you, good sir, <laughs> and thank you for all the supers. Um, I think that caught me up again uh with all they were way out of order forever into eternity for you for me it was tuesday hey you know not threads the the mark zuckerberg thing john carradine had a great voice i love john carradine i am sad that i didn't get into john carradine until after he had passed uh, John Carradine is just a treat. Poor guy, man. Just made so many movies, and towards the end, just uh, I mean, he was he had like crippling arthritis, and oh, he was so just rough. 
Um, you make the best stuff. Thank you. Um, From Beyond the Grave is your favorite horror anthology. I don't think I've ever seen that one. You love post-apocalyptic films. I also, in case you don't know, like post-apocalyptic films. I It's funny. Uh, I was going to do a video. Well, I'm still doing it, I should say. I'm doing a video on Raiders of the Sun. And I have a friend of mine who uh, he worked on all those old Corman um, uh, movies in the Philippines. And so I reached out to him and I'm like, hey, man, what do you know about this one? He's like, know about this one. And he put me in touch with like three people that worked on it. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, fuck, this movie's this video is going to take a little while. So um, so Raiders of the Sun video, eh, probably over the summer at this point. But um, uh, if you're looking for more post-apocalyptic stuff, uh, junk food cinema. Uh, that's, uh, C. Ryan, uh, C. Robert Cargill and, um, Brandon, uh, they have a podcast where they talk about post-apocalyptic movies and they also talk about movies that they like. They're good dudes. Uh, especially, I mean, fucking Cargill wrote Sinister for crying out loud movie that or movie that's, uh, frequently on my Twitch channel. Uh, oh, the other Carradine. I'm sorry. The other, the, yeah, I'm mixing up my Carradines. The, uh, the one who also died. <laughs> oh my God. Hardware. Oh, hardware is great. Uh, did you see that workout video for the elderly people that David Carradine was part of? No, but that, no, that's sad. I can't watch that. You've now tuned into three separate times over three showers. Yes, this has been uh, a very good, good evening. Um, I think, I, I feel, it's been two and a half hours. I I, I feel like uh, my, my voice is kind of winding down a little bit. And uh, I still have to, uh, I have a video coming out on Friday. And then I have uh, a new video out on Monday. So Fridays and Mondays are kind of the thing. What did I think of the Blind Dead movies? I haven't seen all of them, but um, they're good and bad. Some of them are good. Some of them are bad. Um, throw a random Corman uh, on the film he did decades ago. It gives you a three-hour long seminar. You know, Corman, man, dude, I, I want to know what he ate. Dude is sharp as a tack still. So. Well, anyway. Um, tonight was a great night. Um, I really, really, really appreciate all of you coming out here for this, uh, the little inaugural, um, thing. So I don't know, like in the future, um, like I don't mind, like I love talking <laughs> in case you haven't guessed, but I don't know if that would be something that everybody would want every week. Um, it, you know, do we do like, do we do movie? Do we do movie talk? Do you guys want some, like, you want me to stream some video games? Uh, I am, I am open to to stuff. So, you will definitely be back next time. Glad to see DBF finally getting his props for an awesome community. Thank you guys. It is really, really great. I had a really good time. I was so like just nervous all day. I'm like, oh god, what is this gonna be like? But, um. But yeah, this was great. Um, but we shall see. So um, if you haven't already, um, I, like I said, I'm going to be. I, I do have a Twitch channel, which should you should be in the com in the under under the video should be there. Um, where this Friday night, I am going to be streaming uh, plumbers don't wear ties, and I am super duper excited. Um, and then I will be back here uh, next Tuesday. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna start with Tuesdays, and then I'm gonna kind of go from there. Uh, I would love to be able to stream more, um, but I don't want to spread myself too thin because I got two videos a week coming out. I got the Twitch streaming. Uh, I just don't want to. Uh, I don't want to like burn out, and then it's then the quality is gonna suffer. So it's in the description. So yeah, but I will be back here for this. This was great. So. Um, I've been streaming this whole time. We'll definitely follow on Twitch. Oh, nice. Yes. So, 
Cool. I hope you guys uh, hope to see you there on Friday. Well, I will see you Friday. Uh, Friday, there'll be a new video. And then I will see you on Twitch on Friday. And then I will see you Monday with a new video. And then I will see you Tuesday night back here for more of this. I'm going to um, I'm going to hopefully read up on how to make this better. <laughs> um, now, let me see if I can get my my outro. Uh, let's see. Oh, look at that. There you go. Oh, that's why that's going. See, there's my my Bagul. Uh, thing. So that's why that alert was going. Okay. So anyway, Bagul. Look at that. See, that's what you'll see on on Twitch. So I was wondering where the Bagul was coming from. It was from. Uh, I saw the Twitch thing open. Anyway, uh, I will see you all Bagul. very soon. You guys are amazing. You made tonight great, and I genuinely appreciate it. So good night, you guys. I'll see you very soon. <laughs> I just realized that I didn't have my mic on, so I don't know if you heard me or not. I wanted to say how you guys have been amazing. I'm just going to throw this out here in case you didn't hear me. Uh, you guys are incredible. I had a wonderful time tonight. You guys are all awesome. I will see you all really, really, really soon. You're the best. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for making tonight awesome. You're great. I'll see you soon.